special Thursday night edition of the Statesman.com Game of the Week. We came out here to Elgin, Texas, where the Wildcats hosted Maynard in a 17-4A collision between two undefeated teams. Maynard coming in undefeated, but with three close calls heading into this game. On the other side, Elgin has won each of its five games by double digits. Its closest win so far by 21 points. The Mustangs set the tone early with their tough running behind running back Tyrone Owens. He ran 19 times, 194 yards, and two touchdowns, one of which came on Maynard's opening drive. Simmons brothers of Elgin don't need any lessons on tough running. Running back Datrion and quarterback Terrell combined to run 60 times for over 280 yards. The two of them combined to score seven touchdowns. Datrion was the one to punch it in on Elgin's first drive of the day. Mayner, who was playing without starting quarterback Denzel Feaster, had to turn to Jamal Collins. Collins ran hard all night picking up 75 yards on the ground and a touchdown. And he also made some fantastic throws. He finished 11 of 18, 149 yards, two touchdowns, both of which went to receiver Datron Guyton. This game all boiled down to the fourth quarter, though. Owens had this huge gain to set up the second touchdown between Collins and Guyton. That score brought the Mustangs back to within striking distance, 41-34 with just a few minutes to go. On the ensuing possession, Terrell Simmons forces a pass. It gets picked off by Maynard, putting them in great position to score the tying touchdown. And just a few plays later, they got the score they needed when Collins punched it in from one yard out. Jamal Collins in for the Maynard touchdown. Now this was the play of the game. With only a minute and 42 remaining and the score tied at 41, Elgin faced a third and 17. Forced to throw, Simmons found Anthony Nash down the left sideline for a 43-yard gain, not only picking up the first down, but putting the Wildcats in position to score the go-ahead touchdown. And sure enough, a few plays later, after Elgin ate some clock, Datrian Simmons crossed the goal line for the fifth time of the night giving Elgin its final touchdown and a 48-41 win over its rival. It's an awesome feeling, but it's, it, man, it was so nerve-wracking. You know, as a defensive coach, it was miserable, actually. Uh, didn't feel like we could stop them very much. They couldn't stop us either, so you know, it just kind of came down to who could make plays in the end, and we got lucky, and we were the last ones. Yeah, it's huge. You know, it kind of sets us up. You know, it sets us up on, on the right track. Um, to stay undefeated in district, you know, we got some good teams to play, but beating Maynard's always special in Elgin, Texas.